Good afternoon, it's Monday um, and uh, it's the uh, 7th of May and it's my brother Stephen's birthday tomorrow, the 8th of May, my baby. Mum always told me that uh, Steve was my baby because it's my birthday in June, early June. So to stop me from being jealous, she told me that she'd had a little baby boy for me and his name is Stephen. So he's the uh, happy traveller, by the way. Um, right, well, getting back to this, you see what I've done here in my greenhouse because it was so hot in here. I've put this uh, green uh, mesh type stuff up um, and lo and behold, it's cooled it down in here. So uh, uh, I think it's still quite quite hot. Let's have a look. Right. Yeah, it's still 110, but I think it would have been even hotter than that. I think it would have gone, you know, above, over the scale. Sorry about my hair today. I've just washed it. Um, anyway, we've got some... Um, uh, seeds coming up. These ones here, these are um, sweet corn, just raising their little heads. And next to it I've got some um, spring onions um, and some uh, here I've got some lettuce, cos lettuce. There. So anyway, um, today I think it should be about my um, chickens and chicks because I've got five more chicks that I want to show you. Now, the chickens are big, the chicks are small. Oh, I've given them a piece of my garden that I did plant some stuff in, but it's all. Um, weeds and everything so they've gone on there look they're jumping off of it now because I'm coming um, they've actually made a very good job of it look yeah there you are Mr. Big no that Mrs. Big that's the um, uh, Buff Alpington um, Things are coming up nicely. My potatoes are coming up really well. If you have a look there, they're doing very well. And I put some more earth on them yesterday, around them. And I'll do the same again when they um, when they grow up a little bit. Now then, this is where my chickens go at night in the small greenhouse here. It's a bit hot, but anyway, I've got um, I've got some little chicks in here. I'll unplug that oh, light. Oh, that hit me in the face then. I'll unplug the light because it's rather hot. And I think the heat of the sunshine is, is just as well. Here we are. Here's my little chicks. Let me just show you. Here they are. Hello, darlings. Are you very hot in there? Hey, are they very hot? Yes. You're panting a little bit, aren't you? But never mind, I've turned that light off now. Aren't they cute? And they are my Buff Alpingtons. I do love Buff Alpingtons. So I, I hatched some more. I had 12 eggs. Um, five of them uh, didn't weren't fertilised. Um, one of them Although it was fertilised, it didn't materialise. Uh, and one of them did materialise. And I took, it, I took it out of the incubator to put with these ones, because it was big enough to do, dry and everything. 
and I'll put it in the in the box I had the little ones in and um, it found its way I don't know how whether the others pushed it over there but it found its way into the um, water trough and although it is for chicks the water trough um, it drowned I tried to revive it it wouldn't have it and my David bless his little heart you wouldn't think for a, a big um, man like him he got hold of it and he gently gently blowing in its mouth bless him it didn't um, didn't have any effect but there you are he tried anyway so they're my little um, babies there I really do think I need to cover that um, greenhouse up because this heat is uh, oh it's tremendous now about these uh, nut trees I have had some comments saying if they're not producing um, nuts cut them down well they are producing nuts but before I can get hold of the nuts the squirrels are coming down I suppose I could cover them up but I don't know I don't, I'm not that keen on the nuts that we get off of them it would be a good idea to to maybe take them out um, there's my lovely big buff Orpington lady there on the edge. Can you see her? Oh, she's a good girl. Um, so I think that will... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm still undecided. Because I do like the nut trees. And I think, you know, squirrels, they like nuts. So be kind to the squirrels. Um, I've got some... Uh, I'll cut this right down. This is the um, cherry tree. The Montelado, whatever they call them, cherry. Um, and I cut it right down because I wanted to keep it short. And it's producing cherries, look. How lovely is that? I don't know how long they'll be on there because I think the chickens will probably jump up and get them. Um, I've got uh, here, my nephew gave me this. It's a bird, a bird thing and it's lovely. Um, and I put it there last year because David wanted to cut the lawn backwards and forwards and you know, he wanted it off the lawn. So I said I'll bring it down here. Um, so I need to put it somewhere. It's very heavy and I can't do it on my own. Also, look at this. This is going to be absolutely laden. Laden with apples this year. Do you know, last year, all of my trees come out like this. Well, not so many, not so much um, blossom on them, but they all had blossom on them. And unfortunately, I don't think, I don't think I've told you, but unfortunately, they um, got hit by the frost. And I never had any fruit on my trees last year. But this year, I think I'm going to. I tried, um, yes, I, 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 I mean, I've got fruit coming on this one, look. This is the, um, this is the lovely tree that I've moved so many times. It's still there, bless it. And I've put a little, I put one of my fairies on there to help it along. I love my fairies love fairies so um, that's what uh, 
that's what I've been doing. And they're my chickens. Um, another thing, oh, my dogs are, I won't let my dogs in here, look. They would love to come in, wouldn't you, Preston? This one, Preston, he got hold of one of the chickens. Shook it about a bit, but it didn't hurt it. But I can't let him in there. Um, that there is my husband's shed. Anybody want a mower? We're selling that. Um, and along the border there, which I want to put back to grass. I don't want like flowers and all that, but I want my trees in there. So we're going to chop all this down with the mower or the strimmer when we get it, minding the, my apple trees, of course. I've got uh, three apple trees down here, one pear tree and one um, plum tree. Pears, look. I, have, I haven't had pears off of these trees yet. Now, yesterday, I said to my little doggies, could you like the pond out? Because I bought them a pond, you know, a little plastic pond. And my dear husband said, you can't put water in it it's got a hole in it. I said, oh, how did it get a hole in it? He said, I hit it with a strimmer. So my poor dogs. But anyway, what I did get last year, we went to the, um, uh, you know, the rubbish tip where they sell things. Not a reclamation, it's just, it is the rubbish tip. Um, and I, uh, saw all these balls because my dogs absolutely love balls so I put all the balls in there good eh I've got another pear tree here this is producing look beautiful and I like my dangly things and I've got um, an apple tree here it's quite, it's a nice dainty one there. And this rose here, it's a lovely rose. It's my sister-in-law's rose that she wants to plant in the garden. You know the happy travellers, Wendy from the happy travellers. She would like to plant that in the garden in memorandum or as a memorial to um, her mum and her little dog um, that died a couple of years ago um, before they they had uh, Pippin of course um, and he was a lovely little dog he was a bit cheeky but a lovely little dog Jarvis his name was. So we are going to put that rose in the garden as a memorial. There's Wendy. Here I am. There's my Wendy, look. Who are you talking to? Here's Wendy. This is me on here. Yes. Yeah. For the Happy Hi. Traveller. Hello. Hey. You know the Happy Travellers, I'm sure. If you don't, Go over to their <laughs> channel and uh, search them out. They're very good, very good. Um, so anyway, these balls that I got for the dogs didn't stay in there. Most of them are over the lawn. But that's okay because I'll um, pick them up later. David said the ones that are popped and damaged, I've got to throw away. He's just such an unfair person. Oh, and there he is. Talk of the devil. There he is. He's there he helping, is. helping Wendy yes, put he the 
put the washing line up. Wendy and Steve, the happy travellers, they're, they're staying with us for um, a few days. Um, we like them staying with us. No, we don't. Yes, we do. <laughs> um, and these here, look, strawberries. And I haven't intentionally put the strawberries there. I just hung it there last year because I didn't have a place for it. So, anyway, that's a tour around my garden. Um, now I've got other bits and pieces there, look. Some sage, chamomile, um, and those oniony things. Can't remember what they're called because my brain is not as active as it used to be. Anyway, so that's the tour of my garden and um, hopefully we'll show you the memorial rose uh, in its position in a couple of days. Um, so I'll, I'll probably um, do it with Wendy and maybe film it, film us digging. Ooh. What an awful thought. Uh, so, that's it for today. Chickens are out. Chicks are in. Um, David's calling me to shut his shed. So I shall do that for him. And uh, we'll, um, we're going over my sister Margaret's for a barbecue later on so that'll be nice that's all four of us going over there with the dogs so that'll make six dogs and six people so anyway if you've enjoyed if you enjoy my babbling give me a thumbs up or if you've got anything to add comment below just scroll up and comment um, and if you want other people to see it, your friends, family, it's uh, easy enough to push the share button and put it on Facebook or social media, anywhere. Um, and subscribe. Uh, I'm, I'm getting towards um, my goal of su subscribers, but not there yet, so I'd really like some more subscribers. And if, if you want to keep up with um, what I'm doing, press that little bell next to subscribe and it'll tell you when I'm putting up another video. So, cheers for now. Thank you and bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.